Hello. Welcome to the video about the Corona 3 typewriter. Just want to show you a few of the features of this machine so that when you get it home for either display or use, uh, you'll be able to know all about it. Uh, first, I want to show you the outside of the case. The case does show some wear, but of course, being from the 20s, that's certainly expected. Uh, it is quite solid, though. It's made of wood and uh, it's going to hold up for years and years to come. And it does have uh, the Corona typewriter ink emblem there on the latch. The latch is secure, as is all the hardware on the case. Most of the leather is gone from the handle, as you can see. There is a little bit left, but most of it is gone. It is a metal handle with um, metal fittings, so everything is very secure. The latch, as I say, does work, and we'll lift that up, and I can show you inside. So pull up on that, and then pull up on that. Inside you'll see the machine is folded down and this front panel does fold down so that you can have easy access to the inside of the machine. Okay, Fold that back and you're ready to type. As you can see your, your wrist fits right in here so that you didn't have to take it out of the case to use it. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the case just for display purposes to show you a little bit more about this. I'm going to set that down for just a moment. Okay. And I'll show you the inside of the case. You can see the back feet fit there and there. There's no additional hardware to hold it into place. It looks like something's been broken off in the past, uh, but it does fit securely in there. So we'll get that out of our way. Okay. And I'll show you about the machine itself. It does have three rows, three banks of keys. They are ivory colored, glass covered round keys um, encased in metal. They're all in good condition. You can see, all right, the Corona emblem up here is in good condition. The, uh, there may have been something down here denoting that it is a, a Model 3. Uh, that has since worn off, as has most of the emblem up here has worn off over time, okay? You can see the uh, the roller is in excellent condition. It may have been replaced at some time. I don't know. Um, there have been all the keys. It does have the slotted slotted key thing here, as is typical for this year. Okay. I'm gonna set this down and show you the side of the machine. You can see it's got the four screws there and the one underneath, and the back. There was a sticker here of some sort, but it has come off over the years and just looks like a Chevy emblem right now. Um, but that's the back of the machine as well. Okay, show you how the machine types. And I just want to show you one more time. That's the machine folded down. And you fold it back. These are the hinges here and here. To, uh, to utilize it. Okay, so we'll insert a piece of paper. Oop, let's set the, let's set this down for a moment. Sorry about that. Okay. Get this over to the side and show you how it types. Hey, as you can see, you're going to get a nice clean type from the machine. It does work quite well. The figure lock and the cap lock also work. You just need to use that right there. And I'll show you how it works in caps as well. W sticks a little. Okay. 
There it is in caps. Excellent type. Pull that out. And you can see both spools are there for the ribbon. And I haven't seen this side. I'll show you this side. There is some paint loss, of course, where the hands typically would rest uh, when the writer was using this. That's, again, pretty typical that you're going to see on this type of machine. Otherwise, it's in great shape. I hope you get to take this home, either utilize it on display or use it to type with. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy.